Okay, I just wanted to make this quick, very quick video on how, um, just to go over uh, some place value with 10 times as much, 100 times as much, or 1,000 times as much. Okay, on how they will see, on how um, we have gone over this in class. So we look here, and I'm gonna place a number. If I put this number right here, okay? I have 5,657. Now, we have spent a lot of time in class going over place value, all right? And right here, we know this is our ones, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands, okay? So we have also gone over that the relationship from one place value to the next. So we know when we're in the ones place, and you times it by, let me change the color, and you times it by 10, you get the tens place. When you're in the tens place and you times it by 10, you get 100, which is the hundreds place. When you're in the hundreds place and you times it by 10, you get the thousands place, right? So each place value, and you will see here, is 10 times greater than the place value before, all right? So every time you go from one place value to the next, it is 10 times greater. So how are we going to see this on an exam or a quiz right now? Right now, you would see this like this, all right? So I'm gonna make my place value chart, all right? And if you're given the number, there's 1, 10, 100, 1,000. Let's say you have the number 6,433. And we want to know what is the relationship between the 3 in the tens place, all right, the 3 in the tens place, which is right here, than the three in the ones place. Or you may see, you may hear it as how much greater or how many times greater is the three in the tens place than the three in the ones place, okay? Well, the three in the tens place, and this goes back to knowing, well, from the ones place to the tens place is 10 times greater. Another 10 times greater would be from the tens to the one, uh, tens to the hundreds. But right here, I'm just looking at the three that's in the ones place and the three in the tens place. So if it just hopped one place value, then I know it's 10 times greater, right? But what if, now I'm going to go back, go backwards. What if I gave you a number like this? Eight, four, three, four. 8,434. Okay. And I want to know how many times greater is the four in the hundreds place than the four in the ones place? Well, I'm going to look here and say, well, the four is in the ones place. If I go to the tens place, that's 10 times greater. And if I go into the hundreds place, that's another 10 times greater. So if I have 10 times greater and another hop, 10 times 10 is 100. So this would be 100 times greater because it's one hop. Every time I make a hop, it's 10 times greater. So I would start by saying that's 10 times greater. If I made another hop from the ones to the hundreds, that's 100 times greater. And if I went from the ones to the thousands, it would be 1,000 times greater. So it's all about how many hops you make, okay? It's how many hops. And if I make one, two hops, 
Well, my trick would be two hops. Well, two hops, I'm thinking two zeros. One with two zeros would be a hundred times greater. If I'm making one hop, then it would be only 10 times greater because there's only one zero. Now, so we have looked at it this way. Now, it can go the other way around if the question, if the question says, well, how much less would the four in the hundreds place be than the four in the ones place? Well, if we're now going to the right in our place value chart going this way, we know it's getting smaller. So it's still, so it's still going to be one hop to the right, which would be 10 times less, and another hop would be 100 times less. So it's still 100 times, I should do, not times 100, it's, this would be 100 times less. But I believe we will see this more later in the unit and not right now. Okay. Also, another trick I wanted to say, which hint, hint, wink, wink, you may get on your quiz or assessment later in, the, uh, later in this module. If I have the number 10,000 and I divide by 10, we went over in class, I like to think of it as playing Fruit Ninja. If I divide by a power of 10, my trick is chop off that zero. So... If I'm dividing by 10 here, I can chop off one zero, one power of 10, chop off another one. So now I have a one with three zeros. That's 1,000. If I had, let's say I had 100,000, ready, sorry, and I'm dividing it by 10, and then let's say I'm dividing it by 10 again, I've now divided by 10 twice, right? So very simply, I say, well, if I divide by 10, I cross off one zero. If I divide by another 10, I cross off another zero. Now I have 1,000 again. And that is just my trick for dividing by 10. I'm gonna go back here, and that is just 100 times. Uh, 10 times, 100 times, or 1,000 times. It's just me thinking of, um, thinking of the hops. One hop, two hops, three hops. Times 10, times 10, times 10. Or times 100 if we go two hops, or all three would be times 1,000.